Okay, good afternoon everyone. My name is Randy Huntley with Property Management Advisors. Today we are at 57 Reynolds Street here in the Alexandria area, number 304. And this is gonna be a set of videos dealing with the general condition and cleanliness of the unit just before the tenant takes over, I believe on August 1st. And so we'll walk through the unit. We'll look at the walls and floors and ceilings and the kitchen, appliances and counters and bathroom facilities and everything in between. And then we'll list everything that the tenant will be responsible for, some of the things that the tenant will not be responsible for, and then we'll go forward from there. Okay, so let's walk into the unit. Okay, first of all, I always like to take a set of videos to show 100% of the floor. So we'll start in the living room area and though the floors are of a laminate nature and they look really, really good from a distance, sometimes when you get up close, you're able to see some scratches, maybe some scuffs, some scrapes, some discolorations, etc. So. This is what we're looking for here because what we want to do is make sure we account for as many of these as we possibly can because we don't want the tenant to be responsible for scuffs and scratches and scrapes and marks and things even before they have a chance to move in. Now, Right here, I see as we're looking into the living area and the dining, you see a couple of black marks. One here, one here. I say they go across the grain. There's another one right there. Okay. All right, and then we have something right there, a little bit of a scrape. The floor before the front door right here looks good. Now, it's not possible for me to capture every single one of the scrapes, scratches, the scuffs. I might miss one or two. And if you think that I've missed, and I'm speaking to the tenant now, and if you think I've missed something that you would not want to be responsible for when you get ready to check out a year from now or two years or whenever, then we have a PCR, that's a property condition report. And all that does is gives you a chance to respond to the video set that I'll provide you then that way you can say on that PCR, that property condition report, you missed this and I don't wanna be responsible for it. And you write it down, we note it, and then you're not gonna be responsible for it. Okay, all right. So we've done the floors in the entire living area, dining area, living area, okay? Now let's try the walls. And I do see a couple of things up here on the walls, some marks. Those look like they were filled in from the previous tenant. So it's not freshly painted, but it looks like most, not all, there's a couple of picture holes here and then there's one that's filled in right there. But it, it seems like most of these are are filled in or touched up. And there's you know, some more marks on the wall right there. And right up here. And I see some marks right here. And it doesn't look bad actually from your naked eye. Perhaps sometimes I make it look bad on the video, but uh, I do want to make sure that we get an accurate depiction of the uh, general condition of the unit. Okay, let's take a quick look at the closet. 
and the closet doors here, they're sliding glass. They're actually a mirror. And they work really well. Little cable up here. And um, that might be some sort of a uh, space here for the winter time. I do see a mark on the wall back here. Okay, great. And then while we're looking at the living room, let's just take a quick look at the balcony. It's very clear, very clean, and swept. And so that's a responsibility of the tenant to make sure. However, you wanna make sure, I see a broom right there. You wanna make sure that you're not sweeping off leaves and debris so that it goes onto the balcony below yours or so on. So perhaps a dust pan would be good for you to have along with that broom. Okay, what we're going to do is to cut this video and then we're gonna go into the bathroom and then we'll round it out with coming back into the kitchen area, okay? But before we go into the bathroom, there's the thermostat, it's set for 72 right now. So you set it and it should be on auto and cool. And this means auto means that the fan will come on every time the air conditioner comes on. That if, if this were turned into on, then the fan will run the entire time whether the AC is on or off. And that uses up a lot of power. So keep it on auto cool in the summer, heat in the winter, and then whatever temperature you feel is best uh, and most comforting for you, okay? If you have any questions about the operation, feel free to reach out to us and we'll be able to help you with that. Uh, we're never too busy to help with um, anything dealing with uh, the HVAC system, etc. okay? Let's cut this video, let's head into the bathroom.